Hello everybody and welcome back to Medal of Honor. So, back in like December of 2015 I started a series in which we were playing through Medal of Honor Allied Assault. Uh, that series, if memory serves me correctly, finished in like June or July-ish, something like that, 2016. And I had plans to eventually get around to playing through the expansions. I just never really got around to it until now. Um, either I just wasn't in the mood or just other series or real life or whatever the case may have been uh, took priority. Uh, I now have openings in my schedule to a degree, so I have decided to go ahead and get around to finally playing through the first expansion of that series, Spearhead. A few things to note. Uh, this game is very janky attempting to play on modern hardware. Uh, in fact, I am actually needing to play this in a 1920x1080p window because any other resolution is very unfriendly if I ever have to do any sort of alt tabbing into OBS. Um, also, cutscenes don't play properly. Uh, or well, they play properly on my screen, but they don't get captured by OBS properly if I use game capture. Um, and display capture doesn't really work particularly well either in this scenario. Um, presumably the uh, cutscenes play properly in that method from what I saw, but again, display capture then requires me to do various editing of to cut out like taskbar and whatnot, because again, I basically have to play this in some sort of windowed mode because otherwise it does not play well. Um, so it ended up just being easier for me to play at a 1920x1080p resolution and a windowed mode so that it is a straight up 16x9 that OBS resizes to fit my normal recording resolution of 2560x1440. Um, as a result of this game being janky, I should also note that we are actually going to be playing on easy. Normally I play on normal, uh, with or normal, medium, whatever the games call it, generally speaking. Uh, whatever the sort of middle ground uh, in terms of giving bonuses to the AI and giving bonuses to the player uh, setting tends to be. But again, because this game is very janky on modern hardware, I've decided I don't really feel like dealing with that crap. Uh, potentially interfering with the ability to record properly um, and play the game and whatnot. So we're just going to go ahead, like I said, and play on easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut up because these cutscenes in particular do not have subtitles. Even though I have subtitles turned on, they do not play subtitles. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone as soon as I press easy. So I will be back in just a moment. That's now June, 1944. We hear that the enemy has ordered Rommel to fortify the shores of France with an Atlantic wall of steel and concrete. The Germans know we're coming. Hell, the whole world knows we're coming. Under the command of General Eisenhower, Allied forces are about to launch the biggest offensive in the history of modern warfare. Its code name, Operation Overlord. Word is we're landing troops, tanks, and supplies on Normandy. Our first move in pulling Europe out of Hitler's fist. The assault's a few hours away now. More than seven divisions are gearing up to hit the beach. Eisenhower's already sent our bombers ahead to pound the bridges, railways, and fuel depots. Anything to cripple Nazi supply lines to the Atlantic War. No doubt the Germans expect us to hit the Atlantic Wall by sea. But the night before the dawn landing, our unit will parachute behind enemy lines. Along with the British 6th, we'll clear a path to move our army off the shore. The plan is to rendezvous with Allied troops from the beachhead, work our way back into France, and snuff out resistance along the way. God be with us. Sergeant Jack Barnes, June 5th, 1944. I also need to remember to take my hands away from my mouse and keyboard when those cutscenes are playing because any button press, from what I can tell, skips it. 
Uh, it doesn't use the normal press escape type thing. Literally any input from what I can tell skips it. So June 6, 1944, Normandy, France, D-Day. 3,000 feet. Now, I can't do anything about the size of those subtitles, so if they're too small for you, I'm sorry. There's, like I said, nothing I can do about it. Get ready! Stand up! Hook up! Equipment check! Now, I don't actually know what, uh, frame rate the game is currently playing at because there is no option as far as I can tell to adjust frame rate um, in the settings. I don't think we're happy anymore. So, yeah, if the game seems very, like, stuttery or visually janky, <laughs> uh, I, I can't do anything about that, as far as I can tell. Um, also, I am going to have to go and make some adjustments, it looks like, to the uh, real quick master volume, because even though I have the game, or have OBS set up to quiet the game whenever I talk, apparently it is still way too fucking loud. Admittedly, it's a little quiet for my tastes now, but uh, I can't really do anything about that. And honestly, it looks like... Yeah, goddamn, it is way too fucking loud on OBS end. I may need to lower the audio track. When I, uh... Before I render it. fucking see him, but I don't I don't think I got him. I think he's still there. Okay, I did get him. Okay, I I didn't think I did. Now, I could have sworn this game had a lean function when I played this back in the day. So, and by back in the day, I mean when I played through Allied Assault, the main game. But, um, I don't seem to see it, so I, I, I must be misremembering. Oh no, there is! Holy shit, it is some weird fucking controls, though. Oh my god. Why the fuck is it Z? Who the fuck uses Z? I'm sorry. Devs. <laughs> Why the fuck do you default? To Z and S. That makes no fucking sense at all. Um, okay, now I do need to set something for use more than likely, so I don't know. F, I guess, is fine. And, okay, I think those controls should generally work fine. I think. We'll find out soon enough. But there we go. Okay, I was... That was an issue I was having when I was, uh, testing to see if the game worked okay. Like, I, I was like, I could have sworn there was some sort of lean, but I just can't fucking figure it out. And it's because it defaults to some weird-ass controls. Uh, grenade. Also a puny explosion for a grenade. Okay, 
Okay, game sort of locked up on me for a second there, but it's a good thing I got him. Shit. Sound like he said Granata. He did. Wonderful. I can't fucking... God damn, he is, blends in so goddamn well, I can't fucking see him. There we go. God, this works so much better when you can actually fucking see. Oh well, not see, but when you can actually fucking lean. Like, holy shit. Um, oh, yes. Shit, shit, shit. Run, 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 run. Uh, you... Also, I'm pretty sure these types of AA emplacements don't have this, like, weird warm-up fucking thing. Like, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, get, get, what the fuck? Okay, 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 game. I, I try, <laughs> I leaned and fucking game decided to, like, climb me up. I don't know what the hell happened there. Are you gonna do it again? No? Oh, okay. It was a one-time deal. Okay. I mean, that's fine with me, I guess. It's a little weird, but no. You do you, game, I guess. You do you. Whatever floats your boat, as they say. I know you had a gun, dude. Seriously, where the fuck is it? Or did I pick it up and I just failed to read it on the top left there? And now I know there's some dudes that come out of the woods here, because of course... I can't fucking see this dude at all. And I, I mean, I roughly know where he is, but I, like, can't fucking see him at all. Did I get him? I don't think I got him. Uh, no, actually, it looks like I might have. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, I did get him. Uh, fire off that last round because there's no reload button in these old games unless I miss it again in the controls, just like the janky lean options. Which is a real possibility, I might have. Holy shit, I got him in one go. Wonderful. Okay, now I recall there's some dudes that jump up behind me, so we're gonna go ahead and, uh... Get on this. Oh shit, these are all hostile. When I was test playing this, the friendlies came out and dealt with these guys while I was dealing with the dudes behind me. Um. <laughs> Glad you made it, Sergeant. Looks like most of the lads got scattered. Holy shit, he's quiet. He's really fucking quiet. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what uh, desktop audio that uh, OBS is picking up. Is, uh, I have nothing playing but the nice game, job, but... Sergeant. Wilson, get Barnes here a weapon. Let's find some cover. Oh, the game would be quiet because I had it low, very low in my microphone, or my headset, much lower than usual. That would be why. Also, I already had an SMG, but I guess the devs decided on the off chance you didn't manage to pick up an SMG already that they would give you one, because reasons, I guess. I, it, 
Who the fuck knows? Face to Foxhound. Come in, Foxhound. Foxhound receiving. Go ahead. Jerry's scrambling to reinforce artillery divisions north of you. They're utilizing a bridge in your area, held by a Colonel Hildebrandt. Your mission is to eliminate the Colonel and destroy that bridge. Reports indicate the span is heavily defended, but your orders are to succeed at all costs. Over. Roger that. Over and out. Sergeant, you're on point. Let's move. Why oh, you put me on point? Like, <sighs> Let's keep our eyes peeled for enemy artillery. Okay, that's supposed to be the bridge rendering. The view distance is crap. That's obvious. Uh, I also want to note that I am using a bit of a DLL edit to have the game... have the, an FOV that's a little bit higher. Uh, it's currently going at 100. That's probably what I'll stick with if I have to make a guess, but who knows. Oh, sh okay, there is a reload. R is reload, but it only works with certain... Certain weapons, because... Even though it is possible to reload an M1 Garen without... Without waiting to empty the entire little magazine there. Or clip, whatever you want to call it in this case. Um... For whatever reason, this these older games just don't let you reload the Garen for some goddamn reason. It makes no fucking sense. You have to fire off all shots to reload a weapon that it is possible to reload without firing off all shots. Because, you know, what good is a weapon that you have to... You'd have to fire off all your shots just to turn it cold makes no goddamn sense okay so we're looking for enemy artillery emplacements and i heard somebody shoot that would be why i heard somebody shoot these fucking ai God, these AI. You guys realized they were shooting at us, and you didn't decide to fire back until after I fired at them. The logic behind this? Early 2000s AI. Or exactly whenever this game came out. We need fire on that windmill. Apparently, I probably should have gone in there and cleared that earlier, but I didn't, because, you know. Can I go in here? Nope, okay. Fucking AI, come on, help. Dude, seriously, quit it with the damn grenades. Good work, chaps. Let's destroy this cannon. Where is it? Here we go. Barnes, you're with me. Wait for your order. Who the fuck is oh, is it is it behind back? It's behind back, isn't it? No. Oh. I'm sorry. Were they really firing it through the roof here? Okay, I mean, I suppose it's an option, but Get a demolition charge on this flat cannon. Set the charge and rejoin the rest of the squad outside. I, I, I feel like that's not particularly great because you don't have you are very limited in your field of fire here. 
Like, super freaking limited. I'm going over here till that thing blows up. <laughs> Fucking Germans. Come out of nowhere. Shooting at people. God, I'm gonna have to go ahead and see if I can find something to do about the view distance. Because holy crap is... That view distance unnaturally low. I assume we're gonna have to defend him while he does this or some shit? No? Okay, I mean, that works fine with me as well. Also, hopefully you guys can... Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure I got the first shot on you, but so be it. Okay. What? Where the fuck did you come from? There was nothing indicating that there were any there was anybody else out. Those dudes literally came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Fuck you, dude. Really? Camping in a barn. Okay, doesn't look to be anything else. Goddamn fucking AI. <laughs> they just know when you're coming around the corner and free fire. Of course, friendly AI is worthless in these games because this was uh, still back in the day when they figured that the player needs to be the one who does all the work. Can't have the AI put in any work. You know, that'd be unfair to the player. Getting close. Stick together. How do you know we're getting close, dude? Uh, I assume we go inside the house, don't we? Or the barn? No? Okay. This is not a... Oh, thank God. Okay. I was going to call you an idiot, because that was not a house. That's a barn. Nobody up there? Okay, wonderful. Why are you camping behind a bed, dude? That's a little creepy. Oh my god. Fucking captain. Can't go there. Wonderful. This captain's gonna get himself killed. Like, numerous times, because the AI is brain dead in these games.
Still one more enemy. I don't know where he is exactly. Where the fuck did you come from, dude? Like, seriously. Game. You poof these guys at- Sergeant. Private Wilson will go scout three. Ow! God! Down there. I'll provide covering fire from here. Wait for my signal before attacking. Move out. You know what would be great? Is if you guys could actually keep an eye on the enemy. Okay, I can't go, uh... Can't go through there. How do I get there? Just... I mean, I can jump over that pretty easily. I should be able to, at least. I mean, I know where it is, game. I just don't know how the fuck you want me to get up there. Like, okay. Okay, that just... God damn it, game. Oh, through here. Okay. Of course. The door that I tried to open previously, but I wasn't able to because reasons. Where the... I didn't realize you could go in there. Okay, guys, they're all dead. Nice work, Sergeant. Okay, we, we dealt with them all. Do I go upstairs and talk to the captain? Where... Oh. Okay. I wasn't able to make it to the bridge, but I found another way across the river. Follow me. Where the hell did Oh, I'm not even gonna question it anymore. It's clearly not worth it. And let me guess, it's a little inflatable raft type thing. Yeah, not quite inflatable, but it is a little raft. Or well boat, whatever. How do you know we're getting close? Also, I really wish the game would not steal all my damn ammo between these- with these transitions. Because I swear I had a lot more ammo than that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I had more ammo than this. Why are these people not looking out across the river? Instead, they're looking in, you know, towards the area that they control. Track and eliminate the colonel. Sounds easy enough. Gotcha first! Okay, can't go through there, apparently. Wonderful. Nope, okay. Let's be real. Those were shots were right into him. He's dead. What? Come on. If I'm supposed to, you know, chase after him on foot. Why can I not jump over a fucking waist-high wall? Alarm, 
I, this is the only problem I have with older FPS games. They have some very bizarre design decisions. Well, okay, I can't shoot him, apparently. That or he has a lot more health than these little grunts do. Don't mind me, dude. Just leave me alone. Just, just leave me alone, because apparently I can't shoot you. Any shots into you do nothing. Do that. Somebody was just fucking shooting, like, outside. Okay, that was easy enough. Also, really? He wasn't even looking in my direction when he shot me. Good work. Let's move out. Yes, let's get out of here. Yeah, he shot me when he wasn't even facing my direction. Oh! We'll never get past that tank on foot. Man that 88 in the field. I'll draw the tank into your line of fire. Okay. I mean, I'm. I think that would have actually hit, unless this is firing HE. I have no idea. They probably- I would assume it's firing HE, let's be real, it's... Well, cap her down one. Granted, they're down, like, a couple dozen. Good shot, Barnes! Let's blow up this 88 and get to the bridge! Now, I don't know exactly how long these missions will be, or these episodes will be, because they're entirely dependent upon how long the missions are. The plan is to do one mission... Let's get those explosives. The plan is to do one full-on mission, uh, per episode. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, shh! Maybe do something, Captain. Although, try not to die. Because evidently that's automatic mission failure. If you die. I would actually have preferred for you to have been invulnerable. I really would have, actually. Especially if you're playing on easy. Like we are. Did you get the other one? Holy shit. Oh god. I think he actually did get the other one. I need more fucking SMG ammo. These guys are draining it like there's no tomorrow. That guy did not... Why is there no SMG ammo in the crate? Great job, Captain. Save me a little bit of ammo. Because I really need more SMG ammo. I don't... So you want me to blow up the bridge? What bridge? Uh, how do I get to the bridge in question? Do tell. Oh, uh, I assume I go through there. What I just blew up, I guess. Because we can't have some other way to get through? Yep. Can't have some other way to get through. Ow. Ow. I think I got them all. Uh, can I just open this? No? Okay. 
Go through this building? No? Okay. Go around. Oh! Hey, guys! Okay, got him. Switch back to the tried and true Sten gun. Got pistol rounds. Game, I've literally not used the pistol once, so maybe don't give me pistol rounds. Oh, shite, sir. Also, it looks like we lost our other dude. God damn it, game. I don't need fucking pistol ammo. I really don't. God, you scared me. That fall, I don't think, would have actually hurt nearly as bad as the game would have me believe. Did I get too far ahead of him? Is he okay, good, he's... Um, around. Okay, yes, because... Never forget, in these early games, sometimes you just can't jump. And got stuck in a little... I swear I heard somebody else. Pretty sure he was dead. Don't do it, fucking captain. Okay, let's go ahead, plant our... Running as fast as my little tiny legs can carry me. Okay, oh, let's go. Okay, he's... When eyes close tight, and families fade. When going to war, which other men made. Though anxious and frightened, we don't let it show. For the day is approaching when the airborne must go. Each day now rolls past. We wait just the same. But D-Day is near, and for this we all came. The hour grows near. Each man feels it inside, and soon we'll be falling, with nowhere to hide. Our eyes are now down, and the chatter the same, each weapon now loaded. No longer a game. Eagles gather round, and bow your heads low. Europe awaits, and the hour is go. Planes rumble past as we wait our turn. To fly over waters we have yet to earn. Checked buckles and straps, 
left nothing to chance. The gem master stands, calls, welcome to France. Flack turns to fire in the blackest of night. Too low, too fast, it can't jump from this height. There's no turning back. The risk has been taken. Free fall to hell, paratroopers forsaken. Eagles hold tight, scattered prayers to survive. We'll hit the ground soon, whether dead or alive. As feet touch the ground, each soldier moves on. Confusion and fear are beaten and gone. The enemy is close, and sad they don't know. The airborne is here. It's time they must go. The hour is now. Hitler's had his last chance. On St. Michael's wings, we're taking back France. Okay, um, <laughs> I did not realize that there was a, uh, a poem being read at the end of each mission, it sounds like, or, well, at the very least at the end of this mission. Don't know if it'll be every single mission. Um, yeah, okay, so that's something to keep in mind for, uh, the future. I'm assuming that that is an actual poem, uh, written by somebody who, like, presumably served as a paratrooper, uh, during D-Day. Uh, but I don't know for certain. That's just an assumption on my part. I do not know that. With any reasonable guarantee. With any real guarantee, rather. Uh, so we fired... Uh, we'll just round a little under 500 shots. We hit a little under 200. And, uh, you know, we had a 40% accuracy. With our preferred weapon being the Sten Mark II. Uh, we took 22 hits. Killed 60 enemies. So, yes, like I said before... <laughs> Uh, when I said that we're down one, yeah, uh, realistically, it was not even odds at all for the Germans. And I don't know if that 60s including a full crew of Tiger, because I'm assuming that that was a full crew of Tiger. Or if that Tiger just counts as one enemy killed. Um, if for whatever reason the game's counting as just one enemy killed, uh, it's more accurate to say that it's what, like five crew or something like that for a tiger? For a tiger one? Something like that? Um, so yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, hit locations. We overwhelmingly preferred the torso for hits. Uh, a little bit to the head and, uh, somehow a fairly even split between the left arm and the groin. I don't know how that happened. It just did, apparently. Uh, but that's going to be it for this episode. We did get a medal, though, so let's go ahead and check out our medal case. So we got the France and Germany star, awarded by special circumstances from Great Britain for the events surrounding June 6, 1944, U.S. Sergeant Jack Barnes, along with, his, along with the members of the British 6th Airborne Division, successfully dismembered enemy supply routes with extraordinary disregard for personal safety. But like I said, that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time. A quick reminder that you have a Patreon, Discord, and Streamlabs donation link all down below in the description. If you want to know what's going on with the channel, I do highly recommend that you go and join the Discord because that is my go-to place for posting about channel happenings. Uh, sometimes I remember to post elsewhere, but that's not a guarantee in the slightest. Um, as for Patreon and Streamlabs, those are two of the best ways to help support the channel. Streamlabs, a little bit more so if you only care about supporting the channel and you don't care about getting any of the goodies that Patreon provides. Because uh, Streamlabs recently added in, I say recently, it's been like a month, maybe two now, um, an option to uh, do monthly donations via that route. And if you do Streamlabs, the channel takes home a larger cut because there's less middlemen. Um, taking various fees, because Streamlabs themselves doesn't take a fee. Um, so the only fee ends up being payment processors. Uh, in the case of Patreon, however, uh, Patreon themselves take a cut, which I don't recall what it is off the top of my head, but they take their own cut, and then the processor to uh, transfer the, or, well, the, transfer the funds is also a a bit of a fee there as well. So if you care about getting the goodies like early access to videos, Patreon's the way to go. Um, you could potentially split your donation between Patreon and 
uh, stream labs, depending on, you know, what you decide to do. But yeah, so you got options. You got options. It's all up to you how you all want to support the channel if you find yourself enjoying the content. Uh, but like I said, that'll be it for this video. I will see you all next time. Until then, goodbye and farewell.